What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Seth the Law Surgeon. I know y'all like that dramatic pause right there. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm gonna do. I had brung up a suggestion for a video. Uh, hope I got good light here. I had brung up a suggestion for a video the other other week. Wins and sins of uh, lawn care equipment. Now, of course, it's not gonna be wins and sins of every freaking make and model of um, lawn care equipment like steel or uh, Red Max or all of that because I've never used none of that stuff but all I can do is give you the wins and sins of the equipment that I have used and this is basically for like you know a comparison of like you know kind of like starter stuff versus like the more uh, you know professional stuff so first we'll start with the weed eater since they're right here all right so <clears throat> right here y'all see i have my um this is my uh medium duty troy built i think it was uh let's say it was 24 cc either 24 or 25 cc now like i said it's a good starter if you're not cutting that many yards like I got through my first season with this but my first season only had four yards then the next next season I hopped up to seven yards and also I was cutting more frequently I was cutting like 10 every 10 days so I went ahead and got the uh, this bad boy right here the uh, the heavy duty Troy belt which was um, um, you know, 27 or 28 cc's, a little bit stronger, but mind you, these are residential trimmers. So, once I started picking up, I got to about 10 yards. After a year, both of these bad boys went out. Well, this one actually, this one lasted me two years, the heavy duty, because it is heavy duty. This one went out after like one year of me having it. I used it that whole first season. Then during the next season, it went out. And what I did is I went and got a backup. <coughs> See if I can show y'all that. Now, actually, that that is the backup. This is my original here. That's my original, and um, that's what I, you know, that's my original one. And then once that went out, I coincidentally found you know the exact same one on Craigslist I got it for 60 bucks so I was able to use all my attachments with it so I used that one and then this one ended up going out so all I had was this one so the next one I went ahead and got the Shindawa and I said I was gonna use the Shindawa <clears throat> and I was gonna use this one as for all my attachments if I need to hit edge or if I need to hedge bushes or whatever I, got, I also got a pole saw for it I would use that so of course this one out <laughs> and once this one out I needed to get um, something that I can hedge with so that's when I got this this echo right here and um, right when I got the echo that one out so I, I y'all can see my luck with trimmers but long story short if you're going to some stuff in long, in lawn care you can get away with getting residential stuff and some stuff you can't you just need to go ahead and buckle up and get the commercial stuff and that's what I'm gonna say uh, weed eaters you just gotta go ahead and buckle up pull out the extra coin and go ahead and get the, the commercial stuff so if i was having any suggestions out of all the stuff i use it'd definitely be the echo i plan to get another echo whenever i can 
and I, I'm probably going to sell my Shandawa. Shandawa is a beast. I think it's just that where I bought it from, it wasn't, uh, <clears throat> the place was a little sketchy, so, so to speak. So I think I didn't get a good one because it wasn't even in a box or nothing that was trying to just there. But that's another video. But yeah, if you're going to get a trimmer, all I can give you advice to get is the Echo. Like I said, I can't tell you how uh, steel works or Husqvarna, but Echo is the best thing I use. Now, on to the Mustang. As you can see, I still need to put my battery in. <clears throat> but uh, the Mustang, a lot of people tell me, uh, should they get a residential Mustang, I mean a residential zero turn, or should they just pull out the coin and go ahead and get a commercial? Mob suggestion, if you're starting out and you got a tight budget, 100% go ahead and get a residential. You know what I mean? Like I said, the only residential zero turn I can give you advice on is the Troy Bill because that's the only one I've had. But the reason why I say that is because if you're just starting off, a lot of people say, uh, oh, well, the commercial's gonna last longer. True, true. But if you're just starting off, you're not gonna be cutting that much many yards. You know what I'm saying? So, like, like I said, my first year I was only cutting four yards. And most of them, I was push mowing the front to make sure they look nice. And then I would use the Mustang for the back. So the Mustang wasn't even getting that many hours my first year I had it. Actually, I had the Mustang my second year. So when I got my Mustang, I was cutting about seven, seven to ten yards. But anyway, this thing has been great. Uh, like I said, I'm just changing my battery and I haven't had it since 2013. It's 2016 now, the battery just went out. The only thing I hadn't changed on it was the drive belt, which I changed twice. The blade belt, still in good condition. Um, and other than that, I just been changing the oil and filter, making sure you treat the gas. And this thing's been chugga, chugga, chugga lugging. Oh, I changed the spark plugs as well. I changed the spark plugs at 100 hours. So I plan to do it at another 100 hours. Right now I'm at like one, I think 150 something or something like that. <clears throat> Let me check. Oh, oh, there's no battery in it, retard. So I wonder, if the, the, do the hours reset when you take the battery out? I don't know. I guess I'll find out when I put it back in. But yeah. Um, what else we got here? All right, backpack sprayers. Um, I actually have another back, um, another sprayer. It's a handheld two gallon sprayer, and um, I got that from Amazon. I don't know the brand of it, but it's been great as long as you release the air from it then it'll, it'll stay stay good in good shape so what i use that for is for weed killers we like killing like like what i mean by weed killers i mean like uh <clears throat> like just like straight killing everything grass and weed killer so like if you're spraying a sidewalk that's what i use my small one for i need a big one for when i spray in whole yards so this the first one I got, Groundworks, which is a, I believe it's a uh, tractor supply brand, and it absolutely sucked balls. When it was working, it was fantastic, but it broke twice. This is my second one. My first one I had for like two weeks, right? <clears throat> and what happened was. This right here, this arm, it broke on the inside, which the same thing happened to this one. It's like a little mechanism in here, and all the little um, gears and stuff in here are plastic. So eventually, after like two weeks, this thing broke, and now it's just floppy. 
So after two weeks, I took it back, told him, hey, I only used this thing a couple times and now it's broke. So they gave me a new one um, and I started using that. Then I was more careful with the new one because I didn't want that one to break. But eventually, guess what? It broke. So that's that. The two pluses I have with this Groundworks one was uh, this nozzle. This thing is freaking awesome. As you can see, it's like a split nozzle. Um, I wish, I don't know. I need to try to see if I can get it to fit on my other um, sprayer. But I love that nozzle. The second thing was the straps. And you see it got this back padding. Back padding was freaking awesome. And if you can find one with good back padding on it, then get it that works well because back padding makes a whole lot of difference. You'll be surprised how heavy four pounds is until you get it on, on your back. <laughs> Now this right here, you see it doesn't have the back padding. And this is the Pro. Pro Pistol Model 614PR. Bad boy's freaking awesome. I got this one from Agri Supply. Um, they had different levels of them. I would say this is probably like the mid-grade level. They had one that was like, I wanna say like 70 or 80 bucks. Then they, this one was about a hundred bucks, and uh, the other one was like 125, 130 bucks. This one right here from Tractor Supply, that was 60 bucks. <laughs> so you kind of get what you pay for. The reason I wanted to go with something more solid, as you can see, it's more metal. Everything is all metal. And it hasn't failed me yet. It, it works awesome. I love it. So those are my sprayers. Like I said, you can get it. Uh, you can get a cheap one if you want to, but depending on the things you get, um, it might fail on you. So I would suggest getting a um, spending a good, a good penny, at least about a hundred dollars, on a good brand of sprayer if you're gonna get a sprayer. You know, because you don't want to spend, even even when I spent the $60, that's still $60 I lost. So, go ahead, spend the extra dollar to get, um, you know, a good spray. Now, I'm going to put y'all onto a little secret here. Alright, y'all see right here? Bam! Now, I know I just said that other groundwork sprayer suck balls, but the groundwork spreaders are epic. All right, now this one right here is a 40 pound. So that's your average size, one, right? That's your average size one. And see, this is that's why I say I'm about to put y'all into a little secret. My whole, ever since I'd had my house, I was using the little low special that uh, like 30 bucks and then they went up to 40 bucks. Now they're like 40 bucks where they got the plastic wheels, you know, the gears, is the funny gears that malfunction and break. I used to have some under my uh, my deck, but I threw them away. But y'all know what I'm talking about with the plastic wheels. This one from Tractor Supply got the rubber wheels on that bad boy. And it's the same size, essentially the same setup as a, uh, you know, the low special a Home Depot special, but it has the rubber tires on it. And guess what? Still 40 bucks. You can't beat that because you're gonna pay 40 bucks for one with plastic wheels or 40 bucks for one with um, rubber wheels. And the benefit of the rubber wheels is it gives you better traction. Number one, if you hit bumps and stuff, you're, or sticks, like I got all these sticks in my yard, you'll roll over the sticks easier. You'll still get hung up on it. But now it's hung up as with the plastic wheels. And because the plastic wheels uh, don't have as much traction, you're doing most of the pushing. So it's harder for you to push. So now you, it wears you out more. But when you have the rubber tires, um, the, the tires get more traction. It's easier for you to push. It's smoother. And you get a good tossing distance. I say this bad boy tosses a good five to six feet 
the small one tosses a good five to six feet um, of seed fertilizer whatever now this bad boy right here man that's my baby I this is the 70 pound but I still put um, 80 pounds I put two bags of lime in here which I think is caused this you see this little wiggle oh, you can't really see it oh there we go yeah you can't really tell but you get it to focus maybe it's focusing on my foot focus on this whatever there's a little play in this handle you can see it like that the handle turns back and forth and that's from just the extra weight I put on there from putting um, so much material in there but number one as you can see it comes with this cover then it also comes with this grate which the grate is great for uh, <laughs> the grate's great <laughs> it's great for if you're using lime and if y'all use lime y'all know lime clumps up if it gets wet like I got some on my trailer right now that's probably all clumped up because I left it in the snow and so what happens is those clumps get down in there with the little spinning thing and it, it keeps it from spinning but this grate will keep those clumps from going down there and all the small pieces just go down there and then once you finish you can kind of toss the, the clumps out but this thing is awesome like I said this one spreads about five to ten five to six feet this one goes a good clean eight feet eight feet of spraying radius so um, this one's freaking awesome uh, very smooth <laughs> I actually have a funny story about that the 70 pound spray but I'm gonna go inside because it seems like it's about to rain I'm gonna go inside my shed that is Oy. so anyway anyway uh, so I went into tractor supply and they had a shelf where a spreaders at and there's a high shelf it's not no ground level so it's kind of above my head so I looked up and it looked like so that's a pretty big spreader I, I'm assuming that's the 70 pound spreader and so uh, when I asked I said well I see y'all have a 70 pound spreader I see y'all have a 125 pound spreader and then y'all have a 40 pound spreader I said, do y'all have any 125 in the back? Cause I'm like, if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna go big from 40 pounds, I might as well go real big. So <clears throat> they said, all right, well, we'll give you a rain check and we'll give you a call, you know, when the 125 comes in. So they basically, I guess they don't keep them there, but if somebody wants one, then they'll, they'll order one and they'll come in. So I, um, <clears throat> I, at the time I was using a low special <laughs> and with that low special you know plastic wheels you know I was I used to run through those I think I had just got coincidentally that year that that beginning of that season I think I want to say it was 2000 2015 last year I had just bought two low specials so I spent 80 bucks on these two spreaders with plastic wheels halfway through the the, the year no, 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 I take that back. I had bought one in 2014, and then I bought my second one in 2015, so my cousin could help me spread. Anyway, that's not important. But, um, <clears throat> so I, um, long story short, they broke. <laughs> long story short, um, I'm spreading and I need a spreader. They broke. So I'm like, man, let me go back here and see if I can get that 70 pound spreader while I'm still waiting for the other spreader. Cause the 125 hadn't come to Tractor Supply yet. So I'm like, dang, you know, I really, you know, hope it comes. And at this time it had been like three weeks. They said it would come in two. So I went back and I said, I'm gonna get the 70 pound that I saw on the shelf. So when I took it down off the shelf, guess what? It was a 40 pound. So I said, this is a 40 pound. Do y'all have any 70 pound? They're like, no, we don't have it. So I'm like, man, and I needed a spreader that day. So I went ahead and bought the 40 pound. So that's how I got the 40 pound, right? So then 
you know, like I said, at this point it was been about three weeks. So about um, a week later, I'm still waiting. I call back again. I'm like, okay, it's been like a month. You know, when is it gonna come in? Oh, it could be in any day now. So I got mad and I just went ahead and I ordered the 70 pound. And I said, I'm gonna order the 70 pound to see if the 70 pound comes in before this 125. That's when a rain check comes in. So that's what I did. And guess what? The very next day they called me, hey, Mr. Mr. Flanagan, your, uh, your 125 pound spreaders in. Really? So I went there. I already paid for the, the 70 pounds, so that was mine. The question was that I wanna pay for the 125 pounds. And so when I saw that 70 pound spreader, man, I was like, man, this is kinda of big. So, you know, my situation was that like, I was gonna keep that um, 70 pound spreader in my, um, in my van. Because, you know, I like to have at least one spreader on deck and so and then I would have my 40 pound or 125 pound if I got it so but I didn't get the 125 pound because that thing was freaking huge it, I mean the box looked big and now like I said I filled this 70 pound one up with 80 pounds and stuff and I'm sitting there struggling to push it so I, I'm like I can't even imagine going up to 125 pounds so it actually worked out better so long story short, with spreaders, if I'm going to, if I, what I suggest to you to, on spreaders, get at least a 70 or 80 pound with rubber tires. Any less than that, you know what I mean, you're kind of wasting time because you're going to have to fill up, you know what I mean, if you're doing a 40 pound, you have to keep filling up. If you go 125, even though I haven't used the 125, I'm assuming that bad boy is going to be heavy, real heavy, so. 70 80 pounds is a good range with good rubber tires you should be good with spreaders um i don't really know what else to talk about man i know this video is probably super long if y'all got any other questions or anything that y'all wanted me to talk about um let me know oh good hand tools you know i got some of them right here most of them on my truck on my trailer wooden handles you know what I mean I, I used to buy I had some plastic shovel I still got a plastic shovel handle shovel those things crack too easy go ahead and spend the extra coin to get a wooden handle I'm actually thinking about getting one of those they call them landscape landscaping rakes it's like the, the rake that they use um, in the uh, in the sand on the golf courses to smooth it out and it's like why I want to get one of those like when I'm doing topsoil jobs I can uh, you know spread out topsoil and dirt and stuff like that but uh yeah you know you got the time master but that time master is awesome it's nothing to compare it to except the turf master people try to compare it to um, push mowers but you can't and they could try to compare it to uh, walk behind but that's unfair it's a push more how you gonna compare it to a walk behind <laughs> so do I suggest you getting that 100 percentile love it I need to check on my um, kill switch I think it either came loose or I might need a new one so I'm gonna do a maintenance video look out for that I'm gonna do some maintenance on my equipment so uh, y'all look out for that I'm gonna uh, take apart that uh, kill switch on there show y'all how to do that put the new battery back in my Mustang but thanks for watching comment subscribe and I will talk to y'all later yes sir.